A recent study suggests that Texas drivers readily admit their distracted driving habits, but they seem convinced that it's other drivers who represent a bigger problem. While three-fourths of those surveyed say they've talked on a cell phone while driving within the past month, the same drivers believe 96% of other drivers do the same thing. Similarly, 44% admitted to texting while driving, but they believe 89% of other drivers do so. The findings come from research funded in part by financial services provider USAA and conducted by the Texas A&M Transportation Institute, Center for Transportation Safety. Researchers surveyed more than 3,000 people in a dozen Texas Department of Public Safety driver license offices around the state and also conducted focus groups in Austin, College Station, and Dallas. The study revealed a number of insights about Texans and distracted driving. The number of drivers who admitted to talking on a cell phone behind the wheel was roughly equal to the number who admitted to speeding. The number of Texans who say they've texted while driving was slightly higher than the number who've run a stop sign or red light. Roughly a third of the drivers surveyed say they drive well enough to be able to handle distractions without being dangerous, but about half that many think the same of other drivers. Drivers said they are most likely to answer a call that is work-related or from a friend or family member, and they're less likely to answer when driving in heavy traffic or bad weather. Small numbers of drivers who were surveyed believe that cell phone use is safe under certain conditions, such as being stopped at a traffic light or driving on low-speed city streets. But 40% believe that talking on a cell phone behind the wheel is never safe, and two-thirds believe that texting while driving is never safe. Generally speaking, self-reports of distracted driving were more prevalent among those with higher education levels, and cell phone use behind the wheel tended to decrease with age. Researchers say that insights like these should be explored in more detail so that education and mitigation efforts can be designed to reach those groups and influence their driving behavior. For the Texas A&M Transportation Institute, I'm Rick Davenport.